Well, thank you guys for tuning in to Chicago Prayer and Hope. We pray for you all because we believe in the power of prayer because the praying is the truth and the living out of the universe who hear the prayers and will answer them all in His own perfect timing because His timing is perfect and His timing will always be perfect. Amen. Amen. And also, we share the goodness of Jesus Christ right out of this true and active living Word of God, which brings it free, gives us salvation to you all, if you believe by faith alone, and if you repent of your sins, and if you do all that, it also is the best gift of all which you can ever receive, which is eternal life of Jesus Christ forever in His presence when you die. Friends, give God praise for the figure of salvation. Amen. That's something to give Him praise for our friends. We got a good topic we're going to be talking about how how to be saved it's a very simple way to be saved and some people think really it's that simple it is simple but let's but the word tells you makes it a lot more complicated but we're going to be in romans 10 verse 9 so if you have your bibles i encourage you to go grab them flip along to that passage of us or turn on your bibles and flip there as well and if you flip into that passage i will open this up in a brief word of prayer to send our hearts on god and we'll begin let's pray Jesus, we love you, but we do not love you enough, so would you help us love you more, God? Silence our hearts. Silence the distractions around us, God. Jesus, speak to us now. Speak to us, Lord. Amen. You guys ready? Let's read it. It says, if you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Simple as that. How does it start out? It says, if you declare with your mouth. How many of you have a mouth? I know I do. The question is, how many of you use your mouth wisely? How, how many of you let swear words come out, let unkind words come out? Maybe it doesn't have to be a swear word. Maybe it just is a really hush word and, and a mean word. It says, Book of Proverbs it talks about words. Use your words kindly to build others up, not to tear others down. So if you declare with your mouth, be able to declare with our mouth, Jesus is Lord. Declaring with our mouth, Jesus is Lord. And believe in your heart. How many of you have a heart? A heart is really powerful. Heart, where everything flows from. Your desires, your actions. If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord. And believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. You will, be, you will be saved. You will be saved. Come on, friends. What does this mean? What does this mean? What's my challenge and my encouragement for you today? My challenge and my encouragement. My challenge, my encouragement is that this is easy. But my challenge for you is that will you live this out? Will you live this out? Because this is easy. It is easy, but it's not in a way. Because you have to believe, and sometimes it's hard to believe, but that's where faith comes in. And we have talked about faith in other videos before. But my, yeah, my encouragement is that you would live this way, that you would believe this. And my challenge is that you would make this decision. My encouragement is that you would believe this my challenge is that you would make a decision, decision if you never have made this decision before. Because this decision, by making Jesus your Lord and Savior, will change your life forever. Amen? Amen. Praise Jesus for the free gift of salvation. All we have to do is confess it from our mouth, Jesus the Lord, believe in our heart, and we will be saved. That God raised them from the dead and we will be saved. Friends, it's easy as that. We don't have to have another job. We don't have to go before someone. We have to do it from our heart. Come down to a relationship between us. We don't have to go be front of a boyfriend or a pastor on a Sunday. We don't have to be baptized. I mean, we should be baptized if we out just give our life to Christ today. But all we have to do first and foremost is do this. Take that from the sounds of our heart. So I want to give you the chance to receive Christ today or come to back to Christ. We always give this invitation out at the end of every video that we make because we believe this is the most important decision that one can ever truly make with life. What that one has already made with life is by placing that faith in Jesus Christ alone and accepting the free gift of salvation that he offers you and that he offers me. So I want to move into this opportunity right now. All you have to do is to say a simple prayer from the sounds of your own heart. Would you please pray this prayer right now with me? Say, Father God, I confess I'm a sinner. 
I confess my need for you, Lord. Would you please come into my life, God? I could not do this life without you, Lord. You're the only hope I have, Father God. So I repent of all my sins, and I turn to you and accept you as my Savior. Amen. If you just pray this prayer today for the first time with us, or recommitted your life to Christ today, then I want to welcome you in the family of God, welcome you back in the family of God. The scripture says when one walks in the family of God, or when one walks back in heaven rejoices, and we rejoice along with you as well. And we've also been praying for this very moment because this is truly one of the most important decisions that one can ever make with life or that one has already made with life is by placing the faith in Jesus Christ alone and accepting the free gift of salvation that he offers you and that he offers me. So I want to welcome you in the family of God. I welcome you back. If you just made this decision today for the first time with us or recommitted your life to Christ today, I encourage you to reach out to me, one of our team members, because we want to be praying for you. We truly do. We, want to, we don't want to mock you at all. We don't want to press you. All we just want to do first and foremost is walk alongside you give you next steps to be praying for you then give you next steps and next steps for the sake but first and foremost we want to be praying for you well friends do you mind if I bless you today before I send you all on your way would you put your hands up to receive the blessing of Jesus may the Lord bless you may the Lord keep you may the Lord make his face shine upon you and may you truly never forget that it's so easy to be saved all you have to do is confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord believe in your heart that God raised him from, from the dead and you will be saved Simple as that, friends. Will you do this? If you never have been saved, will you do it? And will you believe this? And tell your friends about it as well. Maybe you already are saved. Believe it more and tell your friends about it. Friends, salvation is possible. It's really easy. It's really easy. But the hard part is the believing it part. Help our unbelief, God. That'll be in the next video. We'll, we'll talk about faith in the next video. Help my unbelief. Friends, till next time, keep Christ number one. Again, if you were encouraged, please share this button. I think I already said that. And if you need any prayer for your life, I hope never hesitate to reach out to me or one of our team members. We'd love to be praying for you. I'd love to just talk to you and answer any questions you have. And until next time, have a very blessed day and keep Christ number one. Peace. God bless you all.